Welcome back. Red Stewart kicked off his 2023 summer tour on Saturday, June 24, with a show at Home Park Stadium in Plymouth in southwest England. The legendary Maggie May Kerner, 78, is sharing the stage with Boy George and Culture Club for the first five gigs of his 40 plus show track that will see him also play Spain and Portugal before heading to North America through his summer months. More shows will follow starting in November. That's all part of his plan to make this the last time round, belting out his classic songs on the big rock and roll tour. But make no mistake, Rod DeMod isn't retiring from music and performing, as some recent reports might have fans believe, but instead wants to shift to sing music on his great American songbook catalogue. By making these two announcements during the promotion of the tour, Stewart also sent a message to some of his eight kids, ranging in age from 59 to 12, who were reportedly trying to get the rocker to slow down and retire so he can focus on his health and his family. Calls for the London, England native to sail into retirement after more than 50 years in the spotlight came in the wake of him being diagnosed with cancer two times. In 2019, the I Don't Want to Talk About It singer, songwriter, revealed he had beaten post-trip cancer after a three-year battle full of treatments. And that came nearly two decades after he beat thyroid cancer in 2000. His serious health issues don't end dear. The Grammy winner had to undergo knee replacement and ankle fusion surgery following a soccer injury in April 2020. During the phone interview in promotion of the tour, the legendary singer made a point of getting the word out that he's absolutely not retiring. Keeping the message home to people, he repeated no six times when asked if he was retiring. retiring. I love what I do, he said from his home in England, and while he still has the passion for his job as singer and leader of a performing band, he's still making a big career move with his announcement that he will no longer play the big long rock tour after his slate of shows focused on the heats that brought him plenty of wealth over the years. This will be the last time round, I think, to do the rock and roll stuff because I want to move on to swing music and great American songbook, he said, before, the, before clarifying the decision. Well, I'm not taking my songs to the cemetery and burying them. I might bring them out on the odd occasion, but I basically wouldn't like to put them to the rest for a little while. No more big tars, he explained. I said farewell to Australia and New Zealand and Mexico, so it's time to say farewell to the US now. Realizing the importance of family, Stewart is bringing all eight of his kids and three grandchildren together after the tour moves from the UK to Spain for shows between July 12 to 22. I've rented a huge house there, so the whole family is coming, so it's going to be wonderful. He shared of his plan to spend quality time with his wife, Penny Lancaster, 52, and his children, despite his busy schedule on tour. He explained, Dad has to work, of course. I have to go off and work every other night, but we'll all be together, which is difficult because they've all got their own lives now, but it may be the last time we do it. Stewart maintains he does everything he can to keep his voice and his body in tip-top shape that includes voice exercises ahead of tour. He also keeps up with a rigorous workout regimen year-round that incorporates swimming, underwater SARS training used by the British Special Air Service, running the playing soccer at every chance he gets, and backing on a career in rock and roll in 1961, Stewart saw the height of his rock stardom in the mid to late 1970s and into the 80s. In all, he has released in all, he has released 31 studio albums including 
In all, he has released 31 studio albums since 1969 that includes five volumes in his Great American Songbook. Thanks for listening.